Hello and welcome to Everything Fear. Today we're going to be looking at my personal top 10 favourite found footage horror movies of all time. Welcome to Everything Fear, your one-stop shop for all things horror. I'm Kit Tinsley, I'm a horror author, film academic and general horror geek. If you enjoy this video, if you could please subscribe, give us a like and tickle that bell icon to be notified of future content, that'd be great, thank you. Today we're going to look at my personal top 10 favourite found footage horror movies of all time. Now this is a completely personal list, if you agree, brilliant, if you disagree, let me know in the comments what your favourite found footage horror movies are. Number 10, The Last Horror Movie. This British film came out in 2003 and was directed by Julian Richards. This is an interesting found footage horror movie where the basic premise is that you start watching what appears to be a cheesy unknown slasher movie called The Last Horror Movie. A couple of minutes in and the tape abruptly stops and we suddenly see a man filming himself talking to the screen. This man is Max. Now, Max is a serial killer who uses this tape to select his next victim. The rest of the film is a documentary as a film crew follows Max around as he explains the hows and the whys of what he does. This film was really interesting at the time and the idea that someone taping over a video you rented from Blockbuster as a marker that they were going to come after you was quite frightening at the time. Of course, nowadays in the digital age, it's kind of outdated, but it's an interesting film and Max is an interesting character, switching from charming, unlikable to brutal and monstrous on a penny. It's a fantastic performance and a really underrated movie. Number nine, Paranormal Activity 2. Now, it'd be really difficult to talk about found footage films without talking about the Paranormal Activity series. It was so successful. For me, Paranormal Activity 2 is the best of the franchise. It took what was great about the first movie and improved on it. By using security cameras, they added in a whole new dimension of being able to get more footage than just the single camera that we had with the first movie. It expands on the mythos but doesn't become bogged down in it. A wonderful, wonderful film with some great jump scares. Number eight, As Above, So Below. Now, French scribe Nicolas Flamel has appeared in lots of films from Guillermo del Toro's Kronos to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. He was a alchemist who legend has it created the Philosopher's Stone which would allow eternal life. As Above So Below follows a group of explorers led by an archaeologist through the catacombs underneath Paris where they believe that Flamel hid the Philosopher's Stone. The setting of the Paris catacombs is creepy enough bearing in mind there are six to seven million dead bodies down there. Add to that the Blair Witch-esque distortion of time and space that occurs within the film with the claustrophobia of being underground in some of these narrow tunnels with all these dead things makes this a really fun and really unsettling movie. Number seven, The Possession of Michael King. This is one of those films that you put on not really expecting a great deal and it absolutely blows you away. There were so many found footage films around at the time this came out, that the whole genre was starting to feel a bit forced and repetitive, with no new or innovative ideas coming out. I had started to wonder if the genre was finally running its course. Then I saw this. The titular Michael King is a filmmaker whose wife dies tragically, and he decides to make a film to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. He's such a atheist that he wants to prove that all these people are just charlatans. So he invites psychics and shamans and demonologists over 
to try their blackest spells to contact the dead. And of course, none of it's true. Of course, this being a horror movie, something does work. And soon, Michael finds himself at the centre of an attack by a really black demonic force. This film is wonderfully acted and has a lot of really good humour in it early on before becoming really tense and disturbing towards the end. If nothing else from this list, go and watch The Possession of Michael King. It is a great film. Number six, The Borderlands. This movie is also known as Final Prayer and is amazing. The film centres on a group of investigators from the Vatican who have been sent to disprove strange occurrences happening in a small church in the English countryside. The film works well as all the investigators are wearing body cams that constantly record what is happening. This gets rid of that whole, why are you still filming this? Why haven't you put the camera down? Sort of thought process that goes on when watching a found footage movie. Because really, in real life, who would keep filming in some of these circumstances? The strange occurrences in the church move from miraculous to supernatural, through pagan belief systems into something Lovecraftian at the end. Well acted and genuinely creepy, this is an amazing film that should be much better known than it is. Number five, VHS. Now, I'm a sucker for portmanteau, or anthology as is the new way of saying it, horror movies, um, from the old 70s amicus stuff like The House That Dripped Blood, through to more recent things like the Mortuary Collection on Shudder and the new Creepshow series. So I was a big fan of this movie when it came out. A found footage portmanteau movie with segments by some of the greatest up-and-coming directors in the genre, like Ty West, Adam Wingard, David Bruckner. They all had segments in this film. This format works really well for found footage as well. The shortness of each segment kind of stops you from doing that whole why are they still filming thing that we were talking about with the last film. So this is a really good film. Some segments are better than others, but on the whole, wonderful, wonderful Number four, The Taking of Deborah Logan. This film centres on a film crew who are filming a woman's struggle with Alzheimer's. She's agreed to let them film her descent. But as her behaviour becomes more bizarre and more unsettling, it starts to become clear that as she is leaving her mind, something else is entering into it. This is a wonderful film that shows the heartbreaking and often quite terrifying nature of dementia and Alzheimer's and turns it into a really scary horror movie. The acting is wonderful throughout this film and some of the scenes in this film are really difficult to watch. Number three, The Bay. The only film on this list and possibly the only found footage film ever made to be directed by an Oscar winning director. Barry Levinson had won the Oscar for Rain Man. The Bay is an environmental horror movie with a town suffering because of parasites in their water supply due to pollution. The film is really tense and has some amazing performances. Also, it has a scene where a news crew who have been filming all of the events unfolding just go, fuck it, and decide they're not filming anything else. It's a wonderfully real moment that really adds to the believability of this film, rather than, you know, having to wonder, why are they still filming? They don't. They just go, nope, we're out of there. Levinson's skill as a director and storyteller really elevates this film above a lot of other fan footage movies. It's really quite frightening to watch and quite hard-hitting. It deals with a lot of big issues. Number two, The Blair Witch Project. Now, although this wasn't the first fan footage movie, it was the first one to become hugely successful. I mean, this was a film that cost something like $40,000 and went on to make $40 million. And for that reason, without The Blair Witch Project, I don't think we would have seen as many found footage horror movies as we have done. I think it opened the gates and allowed those films to start to become more popular. A lot of the film's success was, of course, down to it being one of the first films to use a clever marketing strategy on the internet. The website and all of the so-called documentation it contained really blurred the line between reality and fiction, making it so that people, when they first saw this film, 
weren't sure if what they were watching was real or not. The film is a masterclass in the art of less is more. As the film progresses and the characters are spun deeper and deeper into the woods and paranoia, the audience begins to feel the same way that they do, and every sound and every shadow becomes heightened. Is there something out there? What was that? What was that? Without a doubt, without this film, the found footage genre would never have been as successful as it has been. Number one, my favourite found footage movie, Wreck. This Spanish masterpiece from 2007 is a zombie movie unlike any zombie movie ever made. A news crew is following the local fire department uh, for what is essentially a fluff piece for the news when they get a call to an apartment building. What starts out as a routine call soon turns into a nightmare as the apartment is the epicentre of a zombie outbreak. The news crew and the firefighters and the residents find themselves locked inside as the authorities outside have decided to quarantine them within the building to prevent the outbreak from spreading. This film is really terrifying, edge of the seat stuff. It's shot beautifully despite the found footage style with amazing performances and amazing special effects. The film offers us a twist at the end that shows the origins of this zombie virus and it's something that had never been done before as far as I'm aware. The film was remade in 2008 in the US as Quarantine. That film follows the original quite closely except for the fact that it takes away the twist ending which kind of makes it not stand out as a zombie film because it takes away what made this zombie outbreak special and for some reason it also lacks the style and shock factor of the original. If you've never seen Wreck, please, please go and see Wreck um, rather than watching Quarantine. So there we have it. That was my list of my top 10 favourite found footage horror movies. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. Let me know your favourites. And until next time, stay scared.